I'm a native English teacher from New Jersey in the United States of America, and I love Brazilians. I love Brazilians because for the last four years, I've been teaching English online to many Brazilians. And so in this video, I want to share with you five things, five things that I really love about Brazilians. One of the very first things that I noticed about Brazilians is how warm they are. How warm they are. When I had to teach my first class online, I was really nervous. But I met the director of the school whom I was going to be working with. And she was so friendly and so warm and so happy to see me and so happy to have me there to teach her students. She took me on a tour of the school, introduced me to all of her staff, all of her students. And I felt like so accepted right away, right away. And then the students, the students in my classes, oftentimes the first time I meet them, they're inviting me to come down to Brazil and visit them and come into their homes. And I just, I couldn't believe how hospitable uh, Brazilians seemed because here in America, we're not always very hospitable. And when we meet people for the first time, we're not always so warm or accepting. I think sometimes we can come across a little cold and we definitely are not as good at being hospitable and inviting people over into our homes. Some Americans are but a lot of Americans aren't. In fact, I hear that there are a lot of people who come here to the United States who from other countries and they never even get invited to an American home. But I know that if I were to come to Brazil, that wouldn't be the case. I know that I would get a lot of invitations to come for barbecue or even stay in people's homes. I know I would because it just seems to me that Brazilians are very warm and are very hospitable. The second thing that I noticed about Brazilians that I really love is how much Brazilians love their family, love and respect their family. For example, I would have teenagers in my classes who would tell me that their favorite person in the world was their mother or their father and that their favorite person to hang out with was their mother or their father. And they would talk about their families with such affection. And here in America, especially with teenagers, teenagers like to be with their friends. They wouldn't choose their mom or their dad as their favorite person in the world or their favorite person to hang out with. And I just thought it was so beautiful to hear this. And I see it's not just teenagers. You really have such a love and such a respect for your parents and your family members. And I love to hear how much you really enjoy and love your families and how close you are. You have really close bonds. I can see it in the way that you interact with one another. I can see it in the way you speak with one another, that you have just such a great love for your family members, and it's really wonderful. The third thing that I noticed is how much you love to talk and interact with people. So for example, I downloaded WhatsApp, which we don't use here in America. Can you believe it? We don't use WhatsApp here. I don't know what's wrong with us as Americans because it's the best app in the world to send messages and audios and videos. But I noticed as I made friends in Brazil, how responsive my Brazilian friends were that when I would send a message, oftentimes I would get an immediate response. And if I didn't get an immediate response, then I would get an apology as to why they were delayed. And I couldn't believe how responsive Brazilians were and how Brazilians would talk to me for hours, texting back and forth or audios back and forth. And it was really, really fun for me to have these kind of conversations because I don't have them here in America. Americans, don't tend to text each other a lot, unless maybe they're teenagers. People my age definitely don't have texting conversations that last very long. Texting is just for notifying or making plans, like I'll meet you at seven, or what are you doing tomorrow, or just to pass information really quickly and briefly. And Americans too um, won't respond to you very quickly. It might take a day or a two, or maybe Americans may never respond to you because they're busy and they 
forget. So I just love this about Brazilians that they really, really like to talk and that they like to talk all day long. I think it's great. A fourth thing that I really appreciate about Brazilians is how respectful they are and considerate. You know, here in America, we tend to be more direct with our speech. So like if you're in a business meeting, people won't really be asking you, how are you? How's your family? They just get right down to the business, right? But Brazilians always take the time, it seems like, or, or oftentimes take the time to ask, you know, hi, Wendy, how are you? How's your family? Before they ask me whatever question it is that they want to ask me. And I just think it's really nice because I just feel like I have a real relationship with my Brazilian students that oftentimes I don't have with my American students. And many Brazilians will refer to me as teacher. It's a sign of respect. Here in America, this doesn't happen. If I have students here in America, they call me by my first name. They don't call me teacher. And But I know that Brazilians do this in order to show respect. And I always feel very respected by my Brazilian students. And I've also interacted on a number of language exchange apps. And the Brazilians that I meet, always so considerate always so kind, always really careful with the words that they use. They don't want to offend at all. And it's really very, very sweet. Like, I just, I love this about Brazilians. Um, and I have never, ever had any problems with any Brazilian people whom I've met online through these language exchange apps as co in comparison to you from other countries. So there's just something about Brazil where you guys will take the time to really interact with people and be sensitive to them. And again, just this warmth, this warmth that Brazilian has, Brazilians have comes through even from the very first moment uh, of interaction. There's a warmth that really comes through from a Brazilian um, to an American or to another person. And again, I just love this idea of respect and being really super considerate and kind. Okay, a fifth thing that I really love about Brazilians is how happy they seem. They always seem to be in a good mood and happy and joyful and laughing and wanting to laugh and wanting to joke. I always feel like with my Brazilian students, I have such a fun time. We laugh a lot. We joke a lot. Um, sometimes I'll come into a class and I'll be really tired, but by the end of that class, I am so energized because we've had so much fun together talking and laughing. So these are five things that I personally really love about Brazil. And I know I'm talking in general terms and that these things may not be true of all Brazilians out there, but they are true of the Brazilians whom I've met and I've had the pleasure of meeting. And I know my experience is different because I'm a teacher. So the Brazilians whom I've met, they're students. They're students who really want to learn English. Um, but it has been such a pleasure <laughs> to teach in Brazil. I think over the last five years, this has been one of the best things in my life is being able to teach in Brazil. So you Brazilians out there, I love you. I love you. You can see I love you so much. And if you loved this video, I hope that you will subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then you'll be notified when I post new videos, which I'm posting every week, several new videos a week. And I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.